Several years ago, I went through a rough patch. It was a very difficult time in my life. Though it lasted only for a few months, it felt as if it dragged on for years. I remember going to speak with my mother at that time and how there appeared to be no life within me. I seemed so completely drained of energy and I was unmotivated. It saddens me now to think about how that must have broken her heart. My mom is very Christian and that's okay by me. She's a good person, and I love her, and she's taught me much about my life, how to look at life, how to appreciate a person despite the fact that they think differently than you, act differently than you, and value things that you do not. So, during this time, she gave me a book called Don't Sweat the Small Stuff, and it's all small stuff. And I haven't read it for a while. I decided to take it out. And it was interesting that the bookmarker, which I kept even though it has religious writings on it, it came from my mom, and so, as far as I'm concerned, I'm not going to discard it. Anyway, it was placed in the chapter entitled, Stop Blaming Others. So, I'm going to share that with you today. Stop Blaming Others, from the book, Don't Sweat the Small Stuff, and It's All Small Stuff, by Richard Carlson, or Dr. Richard Carlson. When something doesn't meet our expectations, many of us operate with the assumption, when in doubt, it must be someone else's fault. You can see this assumption in action almost everywhere you look. Something is missing, so someone else must have moved it. The car isn't working right, so the mechanic must have repaired it incorrectly. Your expenses exceed your income, so your spouse must be spending too much money. The house is a mess, so you must be the only person doing your part. A project is late, so your colleagues at work must not have done their share, and on and on it goes. This type of blaming thinking has become extremely common in our culture. On a personal level, it has led us to believe that we are never completely responsible for our own actions, problems, or happiness. On a societal level, it has led to frivolous lawsuits and ridiculous excuses that get criminals off the hook. When we are in the habit of blaming others, we will blame others for our anger, frustration, depression, stress, and unhappiness. In terms of personal happiness, you cannot be peaceful while at the same time blaming others. Surely, there are times when other people and or circumstances contribute to our problems. But, it is we who must rise to the occasion and take responsibility for our own happiness. Circumstances don't make a person, they reveal him or her. As an experiment, notice what happens when you stop blaming others for anything and everything in your life. This doesn't mean that you don't hold people accountable for their actions, but that you hold yourself accountable for your own happiness and for your reactions to other people and the circumstances around you. When the house is a mess, rather than assuming you're the only one doing your part, clean it up. When you're over budget, figure out where you can spend less money. Most important, when you are unhappy, remind yourself 
that only you can make yourself happy. Blaming others takes an enormous amount of mental energy. It's a drag-me-down mindset that creates stress and disease. Blaming makes you feel powerless over your own life because your happiness is contingent on the actions and behavior of others which you can't control. When you stop blaming others, you will regain your sense of personal power. You will see yourself as a choice maker. You will know that when you are upset, you are playing a key role in the creation of your own feelings. This means that you can also play a key role in creating new, more positive feelings. Life is a great deal more fun and much easier to manage when you stop blaming others. Give it a try and see what happens. So, to anyone who's listening to this, I would encourage them or even challenge them to give this a try and to see if it really does help. Thank you for listening.